Hey everyone, my name is Gelby and you are watching Over WK where we talk about everything audio and the many theories behind it. Today, we will talk about an important mixing concept that some of you may be familiar with, which is masking. Theorists would define auditory masking as the effect that happens when the presence of one sound is affected by another. More specifically, simultaneous masking happens when a sound is made inaudible by the presence of an unwanted sound or noise. There are two key components to talk about when we speak of masking, critical bandwidth and masking threshold. The threshold is the lowest point of a signal which can be perceived without the masking signal present. Critical bandwidth is the range in which both the masked and the masking signal are perceived as one. Keep in mind that in the studio you will often work with complex sounds with different frequency ranges. So sometimes you will have to address partial masking or temporal masking. You're probably wondering how does this get me better mixes or how does this help me get better definition in my mixes. For this, let's see a few examples together. To demonstrate this, I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples. Let's take those two pads we have. They are arranged in a way that they are actually playing in the same octave. You can hear that they are difficult to identify from one another as they are playing together. In a situation like this, the first thing you should do, if possible, is to revisit your arrangement to make sure every sound has its own unique space. If that is not possible, step two would be to process it with EQ. Listen to how it sounds before any processing. They are competing together. <laughs> And here is after my EQ adjustment. I'm going to show you guys quickly what kind of processing I have on each track. You can see I've grouped them together and this is how I'm processing both of them at the same time. I'm going to show you another quick example between a kick and a bass. Here is how it sounds before my processing. Here is how it sounds with my processing on. You can instantly hear the bass is more defined and it's not competing with that kick anymore. I'm using Mac DSP's multiband compressor. I'm gonna show you my settings real quick. So to recap how you combat masking. Step one, your arrangement needs to be solid. And don't just layer random tracks that you don't need and make sure you have space for each sound. Step two, make sure you have your gain staging and your levels correct. Find out the most important instruments and make sure they are at the right level and at the front of your mix. Step three, listen to what you have and figure out the bulk frequency of those sounds you are experiencing masking with and remove what you do not need while enhancing what you need using EQ. If you manage to do all three, then you should be good to go and ready to address masking in your mixes. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this gave you some information to use in your mixes. If you want to know more, feel free to leave a comment or reach out directly to me. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks very much and happy mixing.